Hello and welcome back. My name's Miranda and I am pursuing a weight loss journey to lose over 125 pounds. Currently, this is the end of week two of my 30 day challenge. So let's get into it. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Week two had some pretty exciting things happen, so I hope you watch to the end to see all of them. I'm not gonna go over any of the things that happened. I want you to watch them as they happened and be as excited as I was. And I'm just gonna cover over some things at the end, so make sure that you watch all the way to the end and see all of the wonderful things that happened this week. And of course, the most exciting things that happened this week. That's right. I just got back into weightlifting for the first time in months. And if you want to start your own weightlifting journey, there are a few things that I want to cover with you just to make sure that you remain safe. Never lift alone if you can help it. Always have somebody else lifting with you or a partner around to help you if possible. If you have to lift alone, always lift with the safety racks in place. This way it would help you if something were to go wrong and you can always get yourself out of a bad situation. Always lift with the safety racks. Also, never put the weight locks on the bar if you're lifting with the bar because that way you can slide the weights off if you need to get out from underneath a weight that is too heavy. And lastly, Never lift weight that's too heavy. Always go lighter and lift for more reps. That's probably the wisest course of action for everyone. Now, if you're getting started, you should always go with a much lighter weight than you think is possible. Never ego lift. Always lift light weights for higher reps. This helps to avoid injury. And make sure that you hydrate and feel your body well. And if you want to see my full video of my very first weightlifting session, I will link it at the end of this video. But comment below if any of you have ever weightlifted before, have been avoiding it because you think you'll get too bulky, which you won't, or are going to start a weightlifting journey of your own. Now, some of the meals later in the week were made with fruits and vegetables that I get delivered from a local food delivery program. And next week, I might end up showing you an unboxing of how they package and deliver the fruits and vegetables for me. I get it delivered every Thursday, so it doesn't come in time for the beginning of the week, but it does come in time for later in the week and for prep time on the weekend. So lots of really good positive changes were happening this week. Now, this 30-day challenge was only focusing on my meals and my healthy eating. However, that doesn't mean that things like 
my exercise and adding things like my weightlifting weren't things that I couldn't add in if I chose to do so. So I'm pretty glad that I was able to get those back into the, the everyday habits that I wanted to do. And I'm pretty excited to continue that going forward. Now, let's see what other healthy habits we can add back in. Stay tuned till next week. And until next time, stay amazing.